I don't have that much battery life. Hey everybody, it's me Kiki. I hope you guys are doing okay. Is everybody okay? Are you alive? Is coronavirus, did, did you get trampled at your local Costco? Anyway, it's me Kiki. Um, mom, businesswoman, PJ lover. I'm not in my car, I'm not driving in my car. I hope everybody's okay. All my subscribers out there, the mighty, the what, the mighty 55, I think that's what we're calling y'all. Um, this is my PSA announcement for you guys. Okay, I have a skincare company. Some of you may know, you should know, because you know, some of you don't know, some of you know me from other places. But I, I do try to put my links to my company in my descriptions. Um, also, with this video, like, share, subscribe, comment, please spread the word. I have hand sanitizer, I do not make it, I am a business. Um, I get it uh, through an industrial source and I have sold it to the public for months now. I actually put little toys in it, little toy Legos and a little bricks in it, little bricks in it. And um, I do, I, I've done some for parties as, as gifts. People have kids themed parties. I do kids themed sanitizers. Well, <laughs> All of this just happened to coincide with the fact that now we're in Corona, Corona, Corona time. So my, of course, my sales have exploded. My business has exploded. I appreciate everybody's making my business exploded. Um, also, my costs have gone up. The cost of the sanitizer that I get from my supplier and the costs for labels and bottles. That is the biggest thing. There's a supply chain issue with bottles. I don't know if it's a manufacturing thing. They get most of the bottles overseas, probably. I don't know what's going on. With that said, um, uh, I, so I had to increase my costs for my hand sanitizers and kind of expand some of the stuff that I offer. But I do have it on my website. So if you need hand sanitizers, again, I don't price gouge. I've seen people sell hand sanitizers for like two, four ounces for $15, $16. I don't do that. You can get... Um, 16 ounces for me for probably about $15 you can get I have a sale going on right now I have a sale on soap I have a sale on liquid soap you know this stuff I went to the store mine's a little mine's a little empty in my my bathroom because I use it a lot don't judge me don't judge don't judge my struggle anyway don't judge me damn it but uh we use it a lot and I actually can make that myself I actually make my own soap and and but the my whole problem is is getting bottles that's just been I just didn't intend that they would be sold out or some of them not coming to supply until the end of March, beginning of April. So I'm trying to do my best to either recycle my bottles or use them wisely and carefully. But yes, liquid soap, there's no reason to go to the store and fight somebody. Just just, just fight somebody at Costco over some liquid soap. I actually make them. I have in three different scents right now. I'll probably add more scents later if I have more time. I work a regular job and I'm in school so um, the demand is high <laughs> uh, I'm trying to fulfill all my orders I'm frazzled vein in my forehead is popping out my forehead right here see my bank see that see that vein in my forehead girl um, but business is booming and I appreciate people but again if you don't have hand sanitizer you need to get some I know people are hoarding at the stores and they're fucking ridiculous people shouldn't do that but I've seen people like you know I can't find hand sanitizer really anywhere um, I have it uh, I sell it and again if you are struggling financially or if you're like look sister I need some help, you know. I, 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 I am, I, I am here, here, for, here for you. I'm here to try to assist the public, not fleece the public. So, uh, I sell it, and if you need it, like I said, liquid soap. Uh, it's at a pretty reasonable price as well. Again, I that's something I actually have to formulate and make and mix in my house, and getting the components to make and mix that has been increasingly hard. Um, I'm going to do a series of videos of how people to survive the coronavirus and just things you can do at home. You can make your own detergents. Did you know that? You can make your own soaps at home. Did you guys know that? There are things that you can make at home that, that like you don't have to fight somebody over. And I, like I said, there's certain components that you need to get theirs, but they're easy to find, easier to find components of something 
than the finished product. So um, people are telling people to make their own hand sanitizers. Well, alcohol right now is in shortage, so you can't really make hand sanitizer without alcohol. So hopefully for the next couple of weeks, they'll get the supply boosted up and then we'll be able to get more sanitizer, more soap and, and alcohol. But as it stands right now, like I said, I am here for you, my brothers and sisters, my friends and family, and my viewers and subscribers, I'm here for you. So I'm going to leave the links below. Like I said, please share this video. Share this video to your loved ones, your friends, your family. Those of who, my video keeps freezing, those who need sanitizer, share this video to them. Because like I said, I, I'm a small business owner. So a lot of people don't even know I'm, I'm exist. Apparently, my name has been passed around in, in in some sort of Facebook groups. Like apparently, that's where I got a lot of my orders. Like I, I I'm getting a reputation of you know selling it. And um, like I said, hopefully the people won't powers that be take me down or whatever. Because again, I'm not trying to price scout. I'm trying to help people. I'm trying to make a profit. Trying to feed my family. My business that I'm in, the division that I work in, is very threatened to be shut down. This country is threatened to be shut down. We don't know what's going to happen today, tomorrow, or anything. So, um, but just like I said, like, share, subscribe to this video, and share my links and let people know that I am trying to help um, the best way that I can. Like I said, I can't give it out for free because i got to pay for it. Uh, I pay quite a bit. I mean... I think a gallon for me is 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 maybe a hundred dollars. So yeah, you gotta think, you figure out the cost. I and mean, the bottles, like twelve bottles, is probably thirty five dollars now. When I used to get it for twenty, so you do the math and figure out like you know. Then I have to ship it, and then I have free shipping if you spend thirty five dollars and over. So you figure that into your cost. And then again, mine is not just regular plain old silent sanitizer. I infuse mine with minerals, essential oils. You can pick whatever scent you want. Mine have toys in them to get the, to encourage the kitties to sanitize their hands. And um, I don't even have it in my own home. Like, you know, I don't even have one. My kids want one, but I don't even have one in my own home. So, um, as for the Lego toys that are left over in the bottom of the bottle, I mean, I guess the kids can take those out and play. You can cut the bottle and take, and kids can play with that. Um, I have issues. Um. Uh, a lot of people don't know that. I'm scheduled to have surgery next month. I, I'm, I'm really worried about that because my back is very messed up. I was supposed to have surgery months ago, but I couldn't because of my job giving me time off. And now I don't even know if I'm going to have a job and be able to have surgery. So, um, yeah, that's a big it's a, it's a, It's a... It's a big worry for me because I, I need to have surgery. I can't carry on with my back issues the way that they are. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway, you guys have a great Sunday. And stay safe. Stay clean. Stay safe. Stay, stay safe and clean. Like I said, I'm going to produce some more videos about things that you can do at home um, to stay safe and stay clean. And things that you can make at home yourself. Um, like I said, you can make your own detergents, soaps, um, all kinds of things. Your own bread. I know bread is a hard thing to get hold of. I have, I have a bread maker, but you can actually make your own bread. I thank God every day. My grandmother taught me how to survive. I'm a survivor, if anything else. So, And then my boyfriend's out of town, and he's not here. And I'm just like, oh, I really could need him right now. Um, but we're going to get through this. I think, I, I hope we're going to get through this. I hope. I, I really do hope. Or I'm going to have to be prepping. So I'm a prepper. I'm a tad, a tad bit prepper. If you know what that means, look it up. If you don't know what that means, look it up. But I'm a little, I'm, I'm a little government paranoid. Like I'm looking at like plots in the country somewhere to isolate ourselves. <laughs> Even though I do kind of, li I live in the country already, but way out in the country. But all my phone's about to die anyway, y'all. Um, peace and hair grease. Y'all stay, stay, stay safe, stay clean, and I'll holler at you in the next video. Bye.